Today we're going to talk about N-acetylcysteine, or NAC for short. It's a very stable form of cysteine. Now looking at the structure of this molecule, this portion here represents the cysteine part of NAC. And this part here is the acetal, or rather the acetyl group. Now when this is converted to cysteine, cysteine is the fuel that increases glutathione levels. Glutathione is a tripeptide consisting of three amino acids. It consists of glutamic acid, it consists of glycine, and cysteine. But cysteine is considered the rate limited factor in the production of glutathione. So N-acetylcysteine, one of its most important effects is that it can increase glutathione levels. Now both glutathione and cysteine, they can act as antioxidants. And the key feature or the part of the molecule that has this antioxidant ability is the thiol functional group. The thiol can reduce free radicals and peroxides. So it can react with a free radical in this particular reaction. A free radical is basically a molecule or a compound that has an odd number of electrons. Now these free radicals are like scavengers in the body. They desperately want another electron to become or to have an even number of electrons in total. And so they could be very damaging to other molecules, compounds, and proteins in the body. So now, whether this be cysteine or glutathione, when it reacts with a free radical, it's going to reduce the free radical or neutralize it. And it's going to, the thiol group will be oxidized into a disulfide functional group. So this is the reduced form of cysteine and glutathione, and this is the oxidized form of those two molecules. So both cysteine and glutathione, they can behave as antioxidants, but this is the master antioxidant in the body. It's the one that's predominantly used to protect cells from free radical damages and peroxides. Now, another function of NAC is that it serves as a mucolytic. It has the ability to loosen thick mucus, especially when inhaled. Now, because it increases the production of glutathione, it also has other benefits, such as reducing the harmful effects of Tylenol overdose. NAC is found in vegetables such as garlic and onions. Garlic has a lot of other sulfur-based compounds as well, such as allicin, ajoin, dialosulfide, dialo disulfide, dialo trisulfide. There's so many interesting and different types of sulfur-based compounds found in garlic. But N-acetylcysteine is one of them. There's also S-allocysteine in garlic as well. Nevertheless, one of the biggest benefits of N-acetylcysteine is that it can increase your glutathione levels in your body. And glutathione is very, very important. It helps your body fight against oxidative stress. I mean, there's a lot of free radicals, peroxides, superoxides that are produced just in normal metabolism as your cells undergo respiration and as they detoxify so many other toxins. But not only does glutathione work as an antioxidant, but it also has the ability to detoxify xenobiotics, foreign substances that shouldn't really be in the body. And not only that, but glutathione can also help remove certain toxic heavy metals. So it plays a very important role 
in keeping a person healthy, especially during times of oxidative stress.